Hello folks, so in this video, uh, I'm going to cover uh, the continuation of previous video titled Sentiment Analysis using LSTM model Flask web app. There, I gave introduction and demo of the application, right? And in this video, I'm going to start building the uh, backend of our Sentiment Analysis Prediction web app by developing the long short term memory based neural network model, which is also the heart of our uh, app, okay? I'm going to use Keras framework with TensorFlow as backend for our application. So there was a need to explain few natural language processing related concepts like tokenization, stop words, etc. Before I proceed further, hence I created uh, those videos first. I will be covering a couple of other concepts like uh, TF, IDF and word embedding in the upcoming videos. I'm creating this video so that our sentiment analysis project moves on and I will stop at logical end wherever we require to learn the required concepts. So please watch this video till the end to uh, start getting complete understanding right from the beginning. This is Nitin welcoming you to the AI University channel where you can learn all of your favorite uh, digital technologies like machine learning, deep learning, AI, big data, Hadoop, virtual reality, and cloud computing. And you can acquire the related skill set in order to advance your career in these fields. This channel takes on hands on approach to uh, build AI based products and applications. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing to our channel. Or if you've already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about the hottest technologies of 21st century. In order to build sentiment analysis app, I chose IMDB dataset. Keras allows to download this dataset using a package called keras.dataset in a format which is ready for use in a neural networks. This data set contains 25,000 movie reviews from IMDB and all of them are labeled as either positive or negative. All the reviews have uh, already been pre-processed and each review is encoded as a sequence of word indexes or integers. We can download this data using imdb.load underscore data. Okay, and I will be using Google Collaboratory to train this model. If you don't know about uh, what Google Collab is, then consider watching this video link given in the I button above as I have created a separate video on the same. So let's get started with the related code. So let me open my Jupyter, Collab Jupyter Notebook real quick. Okay, and okay. So in the first cell, I'm installing the downgraded version of NumPy because if you uh, don't do it, uh, don't down, uh, install this downgraded version, then you will get the error which is something like object arrays cannot be loaded when allow pickle equals to false. Please restart the runtime once you install the version 1.16.1 of the NumPy. Okay. In the next cell, I am importing the necessary libraries which we require to build the model as well as some text and numeric based tasks. Okay, as you can see here. So there are uh, Keras packages from uh, where uh, we are importing various classes or libraries like sequential, uh, tense, LSTM, dropout, right? And then we have embedding, okay, to create the layers of our LSTM neural network. Then we have Keras dot uh, data set here, right? Data sets uh, from where we are downloading the IMDB data set. Then we have a regular NumPy library um, like word tokenization. So NLTK.tokenize word tokenize to split text into individual words or tokens. Okay, I have created separate video on tokenization. So please feel free to watch the related video. The link is given in the I button above. So embedding is also another NLP concept on which I am going to create a video very soon. And I will again, uh, you know, provide the link in the uh, link in the description section as well as I button above. Then there are uh, there is a RE library to perform regular expression related operation. This one, okay. 
and then in the next line i defined a random seed for reproducibility purpose so that uh, we can uh, you know um, reproduce our model values if we want to uh, then uh, we can reproduce those values again okay so that's why i have provided a random seed here so in the next cell uh, i first define uh, define the top words a variable called top words here right as you can see here so this is a variable top words to set the vocabulary size of words to 5000 okay then later on i loaded the imdb data set here okay from keras dot data set by using method load data okay and passing top words as the uh, num underscore words as an argument okay again through this parameter we tell the method about top most frequent words to consider okay and the value of this parameter can be an integer value or none please note that we have different variables like x train y train x test y test which stores corresponding values from imdb data set when I ran the cell, we can see that data got downloaded from this location, https colon and slash slash s3 dot amazon aws dot com slash text hyphen data set slash imdb dot mpz. Okay, so this is a cloud uh, location of aws from where we have downloaded this data. So in the next cell, uh, I'm inspecting a sample imdb review and its corresponding label, as you can see here. So this is the review depicted by x underscore train and this is the label corresponding label so these are the word ids that have been pre-assigned to individual words okay and the label is an integer here you can see the label is an integer uh, zero or one so zero for negative zero stands for negative and one stands for positive okay so when i ran the cell i got the output as given here you can see right you can see the entire text review is depicted in the form of sequence of words sequence of number in fact where each word is replaced by its corresponding number okay so these numbers are nothing but individual word words okay and these ids represent individual words in the review okay and it has then associated label which is this uh, associated label is shown as number one which means that it is a positive review now if you want to revert back this review from sequence of numbers to actual review in the english language then you can gauge into the next cell which is this one okay so let me scroll up Okay, so here in this cell, uh, I'm using the get word index method here. Get word index method, okay, which is dictionary, which is a dictionary returned by IMDB to map the review back to the original words by storing it in this uh, variable called word to ID. So in the next two cells, which are these two cells, okay, let me scroll up. So in the next two cells, you can very well see how word to ID and ID to word looks like, right? All right, so word to ID is the dictionary containing a tuple of word and its corresponding number or ID. So you can see the, the there is a word font and then corresponding ID. Okay, so font has an associated ID 34701. Similarly, each word has these associated ids in case of id to word it's just the vice versa of above so you can see this this is the key value of this dictionary is number or id and the value is font but in case of word to id the key value was font and the value was 34701 okay so this is the way we can convert the entire review to the sequence of number form as well as do the vice versa here okay so folks this is it for this video uh, to conclude uh, i covered uh, code related to various keras library to build neural network layers then i loaded the imdb data set and later on i took a sample review to show it in the sequence of uh, number form and then i showed 
how to revert that review back to its original English language form. Please note that before covering the next set of source code, I need to let you know about a concept of word embeddings. So I will create a video, uh, create videos for word embeddings first so that you would be able to understand the different layers of LSTM neural network as word embedding plays very important role there. Okay. So now let me ask you a question from today's video. Uh, what is the purpose of word tokenization here in building this uh, LSTM model? If you have watched the tokenization video, then you would be able, uh, you would be easily able to answer this question. Please post your comment in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. Okay. And you can also ask your technical questions in the comment section. I will be glad to answer your questions. If you're watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming videos. So keep on watching. Thank you.